Hey guys, how's it going? It is Zach here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set your print size zoom accurately in Photoshop. Now, I know you guys might have seen this option many times before, but might not have known what it's actually used for or don't know how to use it accurately. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do exactly that. So the print size zoom option is an option built into the zoom tool. So if you click on your zoom tool and then right click on your document, there's actually a bunch of different ways that you can zoom your document. So first there is fit on screen, 100% zoom, 200% zoom, and then there is print size. Now the print size zoom option allows you to zoom your document in the exact dimensions that you have set on your screen. So this document right here is eight and a half inches by 11 inches. So if I were to take a piece of paper from my printer and then try to line it up with the document on Photoshop, it will line up accurately if I have set my screen resolutions correctly. So what I want you guys to do is get a piece of paper, eight and a half by 11 inches, and then click on file, new, and create a new file that's also eight and a half by 11 inches. Now what I want you to do is click on the zoom tool or hit Z on your keyboard and then right click on your document and click on print size. It should have zoomed your document in or out depending on how you had it before. Now what I want you to do is take that piece of paper and try to line it up with your document. Now if your document lines up perfectly with the piece of paper, you have set your screen resolution on Photoshop correctly and you can exit out of this video. But for most people it is either too small or too big compared to the piece of paper. So that means that you have not set your screen resolution properly and here's how to fix it. So the next thing that I want you guys to do is measure out the width of your monitor screen. So if you guys are watching this in full screen, I have arrows pointing to the corners where I want you guys to measure out your screen on your monitor. I would advise you guys to use inches for this measurement, but if you are only able to use centimeters, that will work just as well. It's just that you're going to have to use a different setting, which I will discuss later on. Your next step is to find your native screen resolution. If you know it already, that's great, but if you don't, go back to your desktop, click on display settings, scroll down and click on advanced display settings, choose the monitor that you're going to be using, and then your resolution should be right here. Now the number that I want you guys to save is the first number. So for me, it's 1680, but for people that are 1920 by 1080 users, choose 1920 and write that down on your piece of paper. Now what I want you guys to do is take out your phone or take out your calculator and type in the first number in your screen resolution. So for me it was 1680 but for many other people it might be different. So just put that number in as the first number. So the next step is to divide that number by your measurement that you made in inches or centimeters. So for me it was 18.5. So currently I have 1680 divided by 18.5. And then click an equal sign and whatever number that shows up, that is your screen resolution number. So for me I got 90.811. Now I went to the third decimal place because Photoshop will round it down to the third decimal place. So for whatever your number you got, round it to the third decimal place and then write it down on your piece of paper. Now go back onto Photoshop, click on Edit, Preferences, Units and Rulers. And then where it says Screen Resolution, type in that three decimal number. So for me it was 90.811. And if you used inches to measure the dimensions of your screen, then keep it on inches. But if you use centimeters, you can change it to centimeters. And then click OK. So now what I want you guys to do is go back onto the 8.5 by 11 document, go back to the zoom tool, and then right click on the document and click on print zoom. Then take your piece of paper, your 8.5 by 11, line it up with your monitor, and it should accurately trace around your piece of paper. And that's how you know that it has been completely set accurately. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long, but 
this is a very useful feature and I hope you guys will use this more often while you're designing so be sure to like this video be sure to comment if you have comments be sure to subscribe if you want more videos just like this and I will see you guys next time peace out